name is Dunstan. I recently wrote an autobiography of my life. It's called Fifth Business. In my book, I describe many strange events that took place in my life, and I encountered some odd characters, who, though flawed, helped me find my way in life. They each helped me in a different way, but all by using religion in some way. They are all very religiously archetypal. Each one has agreed to share their personal experience with me, to you. The first person was very dear to me as a child and changed my life forever. Her name is Mary Dunster. Hi, I'm Mary. I was a preacher's wife, but I had a very flawed past. I became mentally ill after the birth of my son. Many people in the town had a bad view of me, and that only became worse when they found out that I was sleeping with a homeless man. I was just trying to show him the light. But although I had my flaws, I acted as a saint in Dunstan's life. Those including that I saved Dunstan's dead brother by reviving him and by simply just holding his hand. I also saved Dunstan himself one night. And from a terrible, he was, play he was in the army fighting and a flare was coming close to him. And he told me that he saw a statue of the Virgin Mary, but with my face on it. And that was, that enabled him to be able to get up and dodge that flare. And so that's why I am actually helped in Dunstan's life. And he actually called me a saint. Thank you, Mary. I'm so glad you could share. The second person who helped me find my way in life is a good friend of mine, Liesl. Hello, I'm Liesl. I met Dunstan many years ago while managing a traveling circus. I could tell Dunstan needed to lighten up a little. He was always so tense plus proper. I encouraged him to shake hands with his devil and enjoy the sinful pleasures of life. You could tell I was always pretty flawed. I often drank and got into brawls at the circus scene. Tis I want made me encourage Dunstan to take a walk on the wild side and indulge. Dunstan did eventually let loose plus enjoy life. He called me his personal devil. Though I had flowers, I used my evil knowledge to help Dunstan in life. Liesl really did help me let loose. The final person who largely impacted my life and helped me find my way is Joel Surgeoner. Hello, I'm Joel. I encountered Dunstan a long time ago when he skeptically visited one of my homeless shelters. I, he knew that I used to preach to homeless people about my troubled and flawed past. But my past changed around a long time ago when I met a saint-like woman. After spending the night with her, she was able to turn my life around. I turned my life around and since then I've used my religious knowledge now to help others and help Dunstan myself. I helped him strengthen his faith and share wisdom from my flawed past. I served as a religious, wise old man to him. Thanks, Joel. Without you, I don't know where I'd be. And that concludes the significant people who were in my autobiography and who helped me find my way in life. Though they were flawed, they were religiously archetypal and impacted me greatly.